Child Help is the very best organization that provides services for children that have been abused, including sexual abuse. In order to provide the maximum amount of services, including playrooms for children where they feel comfortable, uh, again, during their time of most need, we need to raise a few bucks. And so that's why we're turning to the community and asking, if you love children like all of us do, if you want to help children during their time of most need, go to childhelp.org. They've got a section called Building Dreams. That's the name of the campaign. And we're trying to raise about $750,000 so that we can provide as many services here at the Family Advocacy Center as possible. So we're, we're, today was to kind of let the world know about this great partnership and also to ask for support, both in terms of volunteers and money, so that we can provide the very best services. You know, just the, the Phoenix Police Department alone, in 2013, handled over 4,500 cases of child abuse. When a victim and a child tragically finds themselves in this situation and they come into this facility, the Family Advocacy Center, when they come, the process of healing starts immediately. The fact that we have trained victim advocates here in this facility, from Child Help, from Phoenix Children's Hospital, from the Phoenix Police Department, detectives from the Phoenix Police Department, that process of not only healing, but starting to move forward. This multidisciplinary team approach, a recommendation of Governor Brewer's care team, was also noted as a best practice in the 2011 Child Safety Task Force. This is what good looks like. And what we want to be able to do now is also open up that collaborative effort to fellow members of our community. What fellow Arizonans can do today, and particularly those in Maricopa County, is to go to Child Help's website at childhelp.org, and there they can donate. Uh, no gift is too small. They can donate on behalf of a friend, a child, uh, they can sponsor furnishings, and they can join in this effort to make this a reality. Uh, this one bright spot in what in the past was just one frustration after another, as I mentioned in the child welfare system. Uh, but with the reforms that are underway, we want to make sure that at this point in safety assessment and crisis intervention, we continue to get it right. This new advocacy center for the city of Phoenix is going to be fabulous because it means that we're going to be able to see many more children who are in, really in the wings waiting, let's say. We have outgrown our center. We have seen almost 8,000 children a year, uh, but there's so many more that are waiting at our doorstep for us to see. So this year, um, we talked to the city about maybe becoming partners, and they were very excited about it, as we are very excited about it. So we're working hand in glove. We've always worked with them, but now they're moving us into this facility, and we're very excited about it because, like Sarah said, it's going to be larger, it's going to be more spacious, it's going to be just fabulous for the children, and of course, that's what we're all about, helping the children. And we have a wonderful place here for them to come, and we do everything possible to help the children be calm and collective when they tell their story. We have a dog that sits right next to them and calms them down when they're telling their story. We have fabulous staff who work with their children. We're so proud of all the work that's being done here. And it's unfortunate that we have to do it and that there are so many abused children, but we're happy that we can have this place so that we can help the children get the right therapy and get their lives turned around.